Now to Iran, and this may surprise you. In an NPR interview, President Obama was asked if he would ever consider opening a U.S. embassy in Tehran. His response? Quote, I never say never, but I think these things have to go in steps. And former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton joins us now. I've been waiting to hear your thoughts on this, Ambassador. Well, it's another unforced error by the president, another example of, uh, of how he's giving away things and getting nothing in return. The, the way that statement uh, you just quoted is structured uh, is first we sign this uh, increasingly uh, terrible deal on Iran's nuclear program, which will basically legitimize that program. And then he says, once we've got that out of the way, then we can think about recognition. You know, I don't think any diplomatic step is sacrosanct but whenever you give something up you ought to get something for it and whether it's cuba or iran or the list is very long unfortunately afghanistan uh, we give away a lot under this president we get next to nothing back and why is this why are we afraid for some bargain for consideration we give this this is what we're getting back in return it seems to be that we're operating from such a weak positioning point that to make no sense whatsoever well, the president's making this week, and the reason is his ideology. He believes that America is not a positive force in the world. He thinks we're a big part of the problem. So in the case of Iran, uh, he believes that we've uh, treated them badly over the years. We supported the Shah uh, and so on. And so if America simply gives up any pretense of trying to uh, contain this a central banker for international terrorism developing nuclear weapons that the Iranian regime will say well I guess the Americans are okay let's give all that up it's naive it's ideological it, most of all it's dangerous for the country well it really is I mean it's, it's just it's a haphazard approach and I don't understand how we're supposed to be operating and acting in with real-time intelligence if we're constantly apologizing for what the president thinks are our transgressions of the past well, I think the signal he's sending, uh, not just to our uh, adversaries like Iran and North Korea, but to our friends like Israel, Saudi Arabia, the right. United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, they're, they're looking around saying uh, that this man is embracing somebody who's sworn to overthrow our governments. And uh, the risk to them is acute because they live in the neighborhood and they're not moving. I think it's a signal of weakness. You know, I think uh, this particular interview just increased the concessions that Secretary of State Kerry will now have to make to persuade Iran to sign a nuclear deal that's already heavily weighted in its favor. This is a yeah, very dangerous game that they're playing here because all it would serve to do is create uh, a power surge for Iran in terms of their regional and global influence. And that is a big problem for not just the United States, but for the rest of the world. Ambassador, thank you. Thank you, Kimberly. And